with meteorologist Matt Moore. Well, yesterday's afternoon highs failed to reach the freezing mark, and that's the first time we've done that since March 6th of last year. It's been a long time coming, and it's no surprise that now this morning we start on yet another frigid note as we take a live look from our York Skycam. Things are very quiet. Uh, we're seeing clear skies all the way across the Susquehanna Valley, but some spots in the single digits, including here in York, coming in at 9 degrees. But we are no longer dealing with the winds that we were the last two mornings in a row. The actual wind chill values are the actual air temperature. So, uh, very little winds, calm winds recorded here in York, less than five miles per hour elsewhere here in the valley. 18 degrees in Coatesville, Chester County. You see a couple of nines there in Sealands Grove, also Lebanon, and yes, in York as well. Then we head farther to the west, 17 in Chambersburg, 14 in Gettysburg at this hour. So, it, it's a cold start to the morning, but we actually will see a quick jump to those temperatures uh, later this afternoon. A sunny and seasonable day. The quick jump in temps, a result of wind shifting. We get more of an east southeasterly wind, and that'll help boost the highs closer to normals for this time of the year. About 38 degrees. Average high is 37, so we will be pretty close to that as we go through the day today. And as we head into tonight, another cold night expected, but not quite as frigid. Lows down near 20 degrees with just a few high clouds in the region. Then we go through the day tomorrow, and we're expecting uh, at least a good amount of sunshine, but there will be a few clouds and some lower clouds trying to develop, especially in our southeastern county. So overall, we will call it partly sunny and just a touch milder, but still cool. Highs reaching about the low 40s during the afternoon. So, a pretty active pattern in the western half of the United States and also active down towards Florida, Miami, and Orlando getting hit uh, with a low area of low pressure, which will actually miss us. It's going to move, uh, move off to the east of the United States. However, these three systems, one here in the central plains, another one down in the southwest, and a third entering the, in fact, the strongest of the three entering the west coast of the United States right now. And all three of these are going to interact with each other in the coming days, head eastbound, and it's probably going to mean a rainy spell for us here as we go into the weekend. That's what we're tracking right now. But in the meantime, we've got high pressure right overhead, and that's meaning uh, that frigid start to the morning, giving way to more of a southerly breeze or southeasterly wind developing this afternoon. But as you can see, no clouds to be seen here in the Susquehanna Valley, and perhaps some low clouds try to form south of us tomorrow morning. Uh, but overall, we'll keep the clouds mostly at bay. We will call it partly sunny through the day tomorrow. There'll be some high clouds streaming through. Into Friday, though, things start to change. We watch this system lifting one of the three pieces of energy out west. It lifts through as a warm front for us going into Friday. And on the leading edge of this warm front, there might be some very, very light freezing rain or freezing drizzle. We'll continue to watch this. It does not look like it's going to be a huge travel concern for us at all. In fact, it'll quickly flip over to some rain once that warm front lifts to the north and those temperatures rise. But Saturday itself right now is looking like a cloudy one, maybe damp and a little bit drizzly to kick off the, uh, the 100th annual farm show. Then we ended to Sunday itself, and it looks like some rain in the morning, some clearing in the afternoon, and then a big shot of cold air comes in Monday and on Tuesday as well. Tuesday's high is around 32 degrees, also tracking some flurries for Monday. So we'll keep our eye on that, but overall, a warming trend into this weekend. So we get out of the very cold stuff back to above average. You bet. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you very much, Ben. Thank you, Matt.